Hey everyone, how you doing? Fishes here, and it's time for another Dead Island tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be covering a lot of different bases. I'm going to be showing you basically how to get from the church area, where I am right now, to get to City Hall. City Hall is a really big place for late gamers and uh, completionists to be going to for a lot of reasons. You have to go to City Hall first before you can get to the shopping center. And you're going to be going to the shopping center if you're collecting the, uh, the developer mods because you have to get the orange skull from the shopping center and turn in the green skull there. Also, it's a great place to farm for champagne, which you can use to get diamonds or to get money. And City Hall itself is also a pretty good place to farm diamonds. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to get from the church to City Hall, and I'm gonna show you how to farm diamonds at City Hall. Then I'll break off into a separate tutorial for getting from City Hall to the shopping center so that you can do the skulls for those um, developer stuff, so let's see here. Developer craft, I'm calling them mods. I knew I was something was not right. So if you already saw my tutorial on how to get from the church to get to the purple skull, you know that I basically find the most logical and simplest path possible. I didn't send you into any of these sewers. I sent you over the world map down, just right down the main street nice easy trip and down into this southwest sewer and that's exactly where you get to the purple skull well I'm going to use the same logic to get you to City Hall the farthest south sewer entrance right here is where we want to go and we are not going to be taking this path to the center because the slums area is very very complicated and also very dangerous if you're trying to get there and you don't know how to get there already then why would I give you a complicated path that's going to be hard to memorize? We're going to stick to the same path I had before, just following the main road all the way down to the southwest, because you don't have to look at your map or do anything, you just follow the road. And when you get to that uh, sewer that we were at before for the Purple Skull, you're just going to keep following the main road down a little bit further, and you're going to keep coming down the main road over here. And once we get to this point, I have a nice little secret trick I'll show you. So let's go ahead and start out on our path. So this is not a tutorial on how to stay alive. I'm going to be running for most of it, and I will probably die a few times along the way. I see a little bit of screen tearing right now because I've had to stop recording and re-recording so many times due to interruptions. I don't know if it's going to come out in the video like that or not. We'll see. So we're just going to follow the road. Go ahead and kill this guy because he's annoying. Maybe the one thing I hate worse than thugs. So we're still following this south, southwest road, main road, just keep following it up. It's such an easy path, nothing complicated about it here. Take a peek at the map real quick just to show you where we're at. We're still on the road. We're really close to that sewer entrance, and then we're going to swerve back around here and down to this. All right, we're about to pass the manhole that takes us right there. That's how you get to the purple skull. And now we're going to make a left. And go through this little barricade here. It's a good little safe spot to get my stamina back. Take a peek at the map again. As you can see, we just cut over. Now we're going to go south and over. So basically south to the end of this road. I can't 
get her out alone? Quickly! Follow me, I'll show you! And we're gonna make a left at the end of the road. We're gonna make a right. I'm just gonna come here for safety for a second. <laughs> Just got a katana, it's pretty awesome. It uses a lot of stamina though. Alright. I kinda went off the beaten path a little bit just to get safety. So here's the uh, the entrance right there by that tower. Here's the problem. If you took my advice and you came this way, you're gonna notice it's totally walled in all down the side, all down the back, and all up the other side as well. So this doesn't kill me. So close to dead. Oh no, guess not. And therefore, you would think that the path I made you go is inappropriate you would have to go through this complicated mess but here's the little trick i figured out today this tree is bent in such a way that you can jump on top of it and then jump from the tree onto this roof and then you can just walk on down and now you're standing at that sewer entrance right by this little tower that's the most bottom most southern sewer entrance and that's the entrance we want to go to to start our journey down there and get to City Hall. Alright. Now we're gonna just gonna go straight ahead. I'm gonna be taking the sewers slow. I'm in no rush here. There's already fast forwarded footage on YouTube if you want speed, but this is for people who actually want to understand and learn and not just watch pointless footage that doesn't teach you anything. And once you get up here, you have to go left or right. You're going to go to the left. Just look for this long pool. It's a bit too funny. It's okay. So we start right where we died. No big deal. You, sir. Far. The path has been very simple. I'm going to keep it very simple. Once you get to here, you have to go left or right. I'm going to go to the right. There's going to be an explosive uh, suicide zone right there. I remember quite well, so be careful with him. Oh, he's not there. Okay. I guess it's not always there. Real quick guys, little side side venture. When you're at this area, if you want to get onto this little side strip here. There is a workbench in here, but also more importantly there's a mod here. And it's like the Venom mod or something. One of those poison mods. So you go down the ramp, you have three tunnels. These two go to the same place, but just stick to the middle one because you can basically walk all the way down. It's going to cut to the right. I'm just going to keep going straight with it. Oh, that was... 
<laughs> that was an explosive zombie. I didn't really pay enough attention. Okay, did I lose my way? Nope, this is right where it does that right hook. I'll real quickly backtrack. I really don't want to get you guys lost. But this is where we, you know, had the... I came out of that tunnel and said go down the ramp. Stick to the middle tunnel. Just keep going straight on down. And then it's going to hook a right. And you're going to have a choice here. These left paths are dead ends anyways. Just keep going straight. Dead end path. Dead end path. Just keep going straight. Once you get in here. Got a couple things to fight. Ah, how did I miss that? I really don't want to fight that thug. Let's see, just pass through this area, straight through. Like, ignore the doors and stuff like that. They don't really go anywhere. So it basically came from that tunnel. Just go straight through. Then you're gonna get here and you're gonna have to go left, to right? You're gonna go to the right. Oh, I, that was my first and only mistake. Sorry. Maybe there's something in here. There's a treasure chest there, but yeah, go to the left. I'm sorry. This should take us to like a little steamy area. A couple of zombies playing dead. Oh, awesome. oh crap. I hate those guys. With a passion. And a vengeance. Where's my sword? Thank you. Now we go to the right. That's what I was looking for. This is that steamy area I was just talking about. Do yourself a favor and do not walk through the steam. It will hurt you. So go around it. Then go through this door. There's a treasure chest over there, I think. Why don't you go through the door? You're gonna have to go fight off the battle here. I'll show you the easy way to take on this battle. There is a propane tank here. Just walk over here to the ramp portion and hit the backspace key to drop it. And then throw a weapon at it. Now you yourself just want to slide down the ramp. one tunnel that goes out of here and it's basically a straight shot to uh to the so straight on and ladies and gentlemen you have made it to city hall i can guarantee you that was the easiest way to get here And I'm going to go ahead and cut that now. I decided I, I decided I'll go ahead and put the farming diamonds portion as a separate video. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, and I'll have one more video linked to this one that shows you how to farm diamonds from City Hall. And then we'll have another video that shows you how to get from City Hall to the uh, storefront. Okay, see you guys there.